my, my little munchkin Charlie. <laughs> I just taught myself guitar and piano and just, yeah, just kind of, kind of it's, it's usually like a flow, you know, where some people will stop and enjoy for a little while, sometimes for a few seconds, and sometimes they have to go off. It's always nice when, when people at least look, because sometimes if they just walk on by and don't look, I'm like, oh, they didn't even hear me. But if they like look and smile or just like stay for a second, it feels good. I think Covent Garden, because it's very like touristy and everyone's looking for somewhere, that's why sometimes um, people are in a rush more. Each place has their magical place, but this was the first place in London I started busking, so it's like feels like home to me. Um, I'm a little over five foot, not much. <laughs> I'm proud of it. I, when I was younger, it's funny because I would like wear heels a lot and go around. And I think then I didn't really truly know myself. And now, like, I'm so confident in being tiny, and I kind of like it. And it is. I'm often the smallest one in the group, but always. But it's like I don't know. It's it's cool, and I like it. I think the voice I can see myself more on if I was gonna gonna go that route because um, I think they they let you kind of be you know yourself and be an artist, and I really want to keep that. Um, but I also really like the independent life. But um, but I see myself sharing my music all over the world so really whatever way I can get out there if, if I can keep my integrity and um, do it the right way then I'm, I'm 100% it's, it's strange it, I would say um, that Americans um, really show like the appreciation like they'll come over and like hug you and like be like oh my god but then the English are like also so supportive I actually was a little bit worried when I first um, came to London to perform so I was like oh I'm used to so much love from like the American audience like I wonder if the English will like it as well and the Europeans and it's so amazing it's like I feel a little bit different, like maybe a little bit more uh, reserved, but they are so supportive and so wonderful. So I was like, yes, <laughs> I can get both audiences. And I think whenever I'm in, in the zone and I'm loving it and I'm flowing, then it, I seem to really like attract people that are really enjoying it as well, which is most of the time. My my dad has a lovely voice, but he's, he was always kind of too shy to actually sing, I think, in public. So over the years, I've like gradually got him around to like singing with me sometimes when we do street shows and stuff. I think that inspired me because he'd always sing to himself. And, yeah, so I just love it. <laughs> I've just always just like taught myself and my, my dad brought out my voice from a young age because I think he could see that I had potential. I think it was really bad when I first started but I was always, ah, always wailing away. Um, but you know he would like work on my tone and kind of like just encourage me to just keep singing and like you know really go for it. And I think that when you have like a personality and you live life and you love life and you get out, people don't even notice because my dad's really tiny and my whole life and like I never thought about him being tiny because he's got the coolest personality and he's so fun, everyone loves him. And then it was really, it wasn't until I like was quite old and I was like, you are like really tiny, like no wonder I'm so tiny. But it's like, you don't really, I, I never noticed. Like, and whenever I like look at like small girls, I'm always like, oh, they're so cute, they're so cute. And then my friends will be like, they're the same size as you. Like, and I'm like, oh, wow, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> you know, I get inspired at really weird times. Like my, my best friend was over um, from Canada and she was like talking on the bed. And I don't know where it came from. And I was like, hold on. And I just ran into my bar Bathroom. and she actually reminded me of it the other day and I just grabbed my guitar and I wrote like one of my favorite songs it's alive um, it's my newest one out and um, and I came back in and we just carried on with our day and hung out and all that and then she wrote to me just the other day and reminded me she's like oh, that was so magical that moment where you just like ran in the bathroom and wrote that song you said I got to hear it all so it just it hits me at a really weird times sometimes in the middle of the night I'll wake up and just have like a mel melody in my mind or lyrics and I just have to like get my pen and paper or grab my cell phone and record it I, I sometimes um, see like my family members if they're going through a certain thing or like I've written songs for my sister um, a lot in the past and, um, and a lot of my really good friends um, if, if something really moves them either they can be like in a wonderful relationship or they can be going through like heartbreak or something and I think sometimes for me it helps me kind of like express what they're going through and then I share it with them and I'm like oh this is for you and then it makes them feel so good about the situation so even if they're going through something negative I'm like you inspired this and I think it makes them feel special and then I feel like I'm helping them as well. It's like a therapy kind of thing. Um, um, let me think where would I like to go. I really enjoyed Italy. I just got back from there and they were really like grateful of like my music and the place I performed. So probably Italy um, and then Spain. I love Spain. Yes, yeah, I'd love to. I, I've started doing a few things. Um, people have been um, calling and trying to set up little things uh, in Europe. So I've just, just started that and I'm loving it. So I want to travel wherever I can. <laughs> when you do that every day, sometimes it's like, ah! <laughs> but I absolutely love it. <laughs> Actually, a funny story that the very first time um, I was really hot, it was in the summer and I had my boots on, and, um, and I was just like, oh my god, I almost felt like I was going to faint. It was like beaming sunshine, and I was like, oh, I've got to take them off. And then it felt so good. Like when I was just singing, I was like, oh, I love this. Um, so I kind of like felt like extra invigorated. So now, like, whenever I can, even sometimes if it's 
cold, I'm just like, it feels better to be barefoot. So every now and again, I'll put on some boots if I feel it. Well, I just actually um, bought a little rug that I actually found um, really reasonable. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna try that out. I haven't tried it out yet, but um, I'm going to uh, put that rug out when it starts getting cold. And hopefully I can still dance around on the rug <laughs> on the streets. It's more, it's more about the music and about the love for people that I think is important. I think I'm really lucky that I'm like, I love people because I think it would be harder if I was like maybe more shy, but I'm quite extrovert. So it's like, I love giving hugs and I love just talking with people. It's like the more I'm around people, the more energized I get, which is really good for this business. So I'm glad I've got that personality. <laughs> because I am not famous, I don't know how it feels and I've heard there's a lot of pressure, but I don't know, I, th I think if, if you just keep, if you remember the reason why you love it and, and you don't believe the fame and you don't believe the hype because that isn't what's real the real is connecting with hearts with people and to me like as long as i'm singing i can be singing on the street and if people are enjoying it and I'm, i feel like i'm touching their heart and we're like almost telepathically like connecting then that means just as much as if i was on a huge arena you know because if i was on a huge arena and everyone was talking and no one was interested like it wouldn't be that magic the magic is connecting and like having that love back you, you sing in italian as well how uh, do you know yeah. italian or is this no. the song no, just, just that song, and I know a couple in Spanish, um, but I would like to learn more of the actual language, <laughs> not just sing it. <laughs> Whatever you have, like, be proud of it, and embrace it, and, and it's, it's fun to be a little bit different. There's something inspiring and like feels really good about not going with the mold, so if everyone else is drinking, like, you know, I would, and I felt good in that. I was like, oh, I'll have a water, and there's something like empowering about it. I don't care if people make fun about it or, you know, so it's, it's cool, like, be yourself. I think so, yeah, I feel pretty successful, because I, I, to me, success is happiness and joy and living life like there's nothing better than feeling good in your heart and that's what I believe success is so it's not money or the big things like, I think all that can come with it if you feel good in yourself but the number one success is happiness I just appreciate the love and support so much and it feels so amazing every day when I get like Facebook messages or tweets or Instagram messages that say how much you're enjoying my music and this is my favorite thing in the world to do I'm so passionate about music so to think that I can share that with you and that you'll enjoy it and that you'll you say that it opens your heart and it brings tears to your eyes and all the amazing things. It's just honestly the best feeling in the world. I wake up every day smiling. So all the little cute girls, um, I'll give you all hugs <laughs> because we can all line up and be beside. <laughs> but no, like lo love who you are, embrace who you are. It doesn't matter if you're really tall or if you're really little. Charlie, yeah, and he's a little rescued, a little rescue boy, and I swear he's the best dog in the world. So please rescue if you want to get a puppy. <laughs>